Wow, aren't these just an absolutely beautiful roadster from Mercedes-Benz, the R129 Series SL500, or they were earlier known as the 500 SL convertible. Soft top, hard top. This car has only done 96,000 kilometres. It's got all of its original keys, as you will see there. The soft top's in absolutely beautiful condition. And if you saw from the photographs, it does have a hard top as well. And these really nice AMG styling wheels. So look, the SL500 came out in around about 1990 um, in this particular body style. And isn't it a beautiful car? Very good value for money for just under $25,000. They've got a decent size boot, as you can see, for a convertible, and the soft top is in good condition. It folds back really nicely into that cover. So, ladies and gents, this is a car that was originally sold brand new overseas, and that doesn't mean any difference at all throughout the vehicle that we can tell. Um, the only thing, which is actually quite a nice little bonus, is that it does have the dicky seats in the back. So most SLs, 99% of SLs delivered to Australia certainly didn't have the seats in the back, so we think it's a bit of a bonus. Have a look at the leather interior. It is just stunning. The dashboard's in good condition. It's got electric seats with memory settings on both sides of the vehicle. We actually sold this car to a gentleman around about a year and a half ago, and he's done new door trimmings, he's done new centre console. We've done a little bit of work to it. So... It's just really nice to see these cars not overpriced. They've got registration. It's been serviced by a company that we use in Botany called Eastern Suburbs Automotive that are a uh, specialist of Mercedes-Benz. And you can see the headlights all, aren't all revolting and worn and gone yellow. So it's a car that we assume has been garaged inside. And um, we're pretty proud of our Mercs. This car will come with a full roadworthy certificate and check over. And we'll just get inside and I'd like to start it up and talk to you a little bit more about this beautiful V8 engine. Listen to that. So you've just got your button here which you just hold down. I've got my foot on the foot brake. You'll see there it is starting to come up. It doesn't take very long. You don't have to release any catches or anything like that here. It's just going to come back by itself. It takes it around about sort of 30 or 40 seconds. Whilst it's going up, we'll just have a look at the rest of the interior of this car, which as you can see, the wood grain is in lovely condition. We'll just get a little bit more light in here. 96,200 kilometres, which is absolutely nothing for one of these. There's that top now going back. They're not the fastest thing in the world, but isn't it lovely that you don't have to get out with another person and start lifting it up and down. That's another nice thing, the speakers are in good condition because a lot of people get out and they put their big foot on the speakers and uh, yeah, that takes, uh, takes a bit away from it when they've got cracks and so forth. Now being a later one, you've got the newer air conditioning dials which is great. There we go, our windows are now going up, soft top is on and somebody's put an aftermarket sound system in the car with iPod, iPad and USB you can see just in there. So you've also got a roll bar feature there, which I'll just show you. I won't start the car again, but that's really a nice feature that just comes up automatically. Obviously, you wouldn't be putting that up when there's people in the back of the car. And uh, because they're just going to hit their head on that. So this car, we did buff the paint, but it still hasn't been finished detailed, uh, which we would do. Gosh, they're a beautiful car. I mean... For that sort of money, I don't know whether you'd prefer to go down to the local Hyundai dealership and buy an i30 with a sunroof or a classic Mercedes-Benz that's probably going to be worth twenty-five or twenty-three or four thousand dollars for a very, very long time. Our business is called the Old Timer Centre, and this is the sort of car that we like to sell. But as you'll see, a plethora of Mercedes-Benz, huge amounts. We love them; they make the best cars in the world. And uh, look at that one there; that's the newest shape there from 2012. So I'm just going to have a quick wander around and show you our shop. And we've got mechanics and detailers and we've been doing this for a very long time, since 1994. 
So please come and see us, 101 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. My name's Richard, or you can see Phil, and we look forward to showing you this gorgeous SL. Thank you again.